Honorable the Educators, the Honorable Lectures, my friends and happy audiences. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, who has given us eyes to see, ears to hear, mouth to talk, and opportunity so we can stay in this place. Don't forget to deliver our salawat and salam to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who has brought to us from the darkness to the lightness. Well, let me tell you about myself. My name is is Nurul Izzah Afiqah and I'm from Ma'ahat Albir Muhammadiyah University of Makassar and I'm so glad to stand in here in front of you all. In this wonderful moment, I would like to share some of my thoughts about who should be responsible for the youth moral crisis. Ladies and gentlemen, did you know that there were 2,500 reports about gender-based violence from January to July 2021 with all the victims were women? The case reports about sexual violence from 1st to 16th of March 2021, there were 426 cases. 426 cases in just 16 days. Can't you imagine? This is unacceptable. Did you know that there were 2.3 million fetuses aborted in 2009 and 30% of them were done by teenagers? It's on 2009, ladies and gentlemen. What about these recent years? Happy audiences. According to the data that I've mentioned before, which I got from BPS and BNN side, this could be proof that the morals of teenagers now seems to have decreased over and over. That is because they didn't have a proper moral and personality education. That was, that was the reason why they are now getting closer and closer to free sex, abortion, drugs, and other samples. Responding to this condition, a question came up. Who should be responsible? Well, the answer might be simpler than what's supposed to be done. But in my opinion, those who are should be responsible are the parents, the teachers, and the government. Why? Because they have a big role in the youth education and the progress for their personalities. For me, by studying Islam, where there is no separation between religion and education, this could be a big thing. Because by studying Islam properly, they can have a personality growth in the better way. Happy audiences! As said with the state, applicable rules and laws must be able to provide prevention and punishment to teenagers who are crossing the line. As the young generation would later be the future of the society, they are now prepared to be the agent of change. Through their positive contribution to nation will be the foundation of a good society. One of the way is through proper study and apply the values of Islam as Islam, the Rahmatan Lil Alamin, a bless for the whole universe. Happy audiences! The time to grow up is now. There is no letter on for moral crisis. How the nation would be without this awareness? Happy audiences. I think that's all what I can deliver for you today. I'm so sorry if there's any mistake. Thank you for having me. And it's such a pleasure to have this sharing session with you all today. And the last essay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.